In over a hundred years, the technology of a rocket has hardly changed. Fill a cylinder with volatile chemicals. Contact! Yes, contact! Then ignite them in a controlled explosion. The force of the blast is what pushes the rocket up. Six. Nowadays, Four. chemical rockets are the only ones with enough thrust to overcome Earth's gravity and carry a payload into orbit. Testing concepts for the future but they're not the very efficient. Design. The heavier the payload, the more fuel a rocket needs to lift it into space. But the more fuel a rocket carries, the more fuel it needs. One of the fabled Saturn V rockets of the Apollo era, for example, weighed in at 177,000 kilograms. Filled up with fuel, it weighed almost 16 times that. The space shuttle, with maximum payload, weighed about 100,000 kilos. Add tanks and fuel, and it lifted off at 2 million kilograms. Regardless of weight, for a spacecraft to escape Earth's gravity, it must reach a minimum speed of 40,000 kilometers per hour. The energy needed to do that meant there wasn't enough fuel for a sustained acceleration to more distant planetary shores. Most missions beyond Earth have relied instead on their initial launch speed to coast to their destination. The twin spacecraft of Voyager, for example, did not have enough speed to reach their current positions at the edge of the solar system. To give them a boost, flight planners sent them into Jupiter's gravitational field, using its pull to slingshot them out to Saturn. Voyager 1 used Saturn to accelerate to almost 63,000 kilometers per hour. Voyager 2 got further assists from Saturn and Uranus. Ben's rockets promise far greater gas mileage than traditional chemical rockets, but with enough power to reach distant targets more quickly. The idea is that once in space, his rockets use electricity to create a weak force, which over time can accelerate them to very high speeds. They run on the same fuel that nature uses literally to power the cosmos. Not long after its explosive beginnings, the universe was awash in vast stores of hydrogen gas. But even as the universe continued to expand, gravity drew clumps of matter into ever denser concentrations. The earliest stars took shape, immense balls of hydrogen gas, hundreds of times the mass of our sun. As they contracted inward, they heated up and ignited. Intense radiation now began to flow through the voids. That had the effect, all through the universe, of stripping electrons away from the primordial gas. The universe became filled not with solids, liquid, or gas, but with a fourth state of matter, plasma. 